Hey, Sweet Home Bakery here today. We are going to make um, cherry vanilla bread. I made it yesterday. It was really good, so I'm going to do it again today to show you how I did that. So it's just a basic white bread recipe, but this is really good for breakfast. So one and a half cups of water, three tablespoons of cubed butter. We'll put it in there like that. Um, yeah, trying to think. Three tablespoons of dried milk. One tablespoon of sugar. And that is what all I'm going to add to this. So then we're going to add four cups of flour. There's one, two, trying to look at my cameras, three, and four. So I have the bread, the water, the butter, everything else in it. So it's one and a half, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt and one and a half teaspoons of um, yeast on that side. And I'm going to add the vanilla to this part. I should have added it earlier, but I'm going to do that now. And they're just on the side. So keep the salt and the yeast away from each other because it will um, kill, the salt will kill the yeast. I don't warm my water up. I don't do any of that. And it works fine. It makes it really good. So the thing on the bread maker, if you can see this, it, it's the where you add the other ingredients to it. I let the bread maker do all the work. Um, it, it, it needs it and everything else and lets it rise. And then the last rise, I put it in a pan. I put it in the oven with the light on only. And I let it rise there. It rises pretty well in there. It really helps. So I have about one cup of dried cherries. I'm going to put it in that little thing there. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to set it on the dough setting. And just the dough setting because you want it to do everything except to cook the bread. I don't like to cook my bread in the bread maker because I don't like the way it looks and I don't like the little thing on the bottom. So I always take it out and do the last rise in the oven. Really good. So mine is number 11 for the dough setting. And then I'm going to start it. It's about one and a half hours and we're going to let that work. And we'll be back, and I'll tell you about my t-shirt here. I got this a couple of years ago in Hanover, Oklahoma. It is in southeast in the hills. It was a big fit festival. It was a lot of fun. It's beautiful down there. Um, I will post some pictures at the end of the video, and you can see what it looks like there. I had a lot of fun there. I, they didn't have it last year. I don't know if they'll have it this, this next year, but it was a lot of fun to go to. And Hanover is, is a really small place, but it's really, really pretty down there. So see you soon. Back, uh, the bread maker has already beeped, so it's went the hour and a half. I'm going to take it out, and it's risen really nice. Looks very good. So uh, it's a two pound loaf. I did a two pound. So it's all going to go in this pan sprayed with vegetable oil and it is a pampered chef. It's my favorite one if you don't know. It's my favorite pan. And I am just going to take it out of here and make sure that the metal thing is not in there. <laughs> we don't want that in there. So I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little. Make it fit in there very good, very tightly. So now I'm going to put this in the oven. See how I just put it in the pan and just kind of spread it out a little bit, even on the top. It'll rise up, you know, and be a nice crust. So I'm going to put it in the oven for an hour and then I'm going to bake it for probably about 35 minutes. So we'll be back in a little while. Bye. Hi, we're back. The bread has baked. It's been cooling for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take it out and let it um, put it on a wire rack and let it 
finish. It's just lightly brown all over. It looks so good. And there you go. And it's easy. The bread maker does almost everything for you. It's just a different kind of bread. It's got the dried cherries and some cinnamon in it. Um, vanilla. It's really good. Try it for breakfast or whenever just for dessert. So I will see you in the next video. Send me some ideas of what you'd like to see. I will try to do one. Um, anything you bake, send me a picture. So I hope you like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you